Hello, and welcome back to Vape the Gathering. Vape the Gathering, guys. I'm gonna knock you out. Listen, speech impediment. Welcome back, everybody. Yes. The beginning video of of the morning. We literally got up at 7 o'clock today. P.M. P.M. Not a.m. P.M. We're nocturnal now. Yes, apparently. Thank you, college. Yeah, thanks, colleague. And this guy's been playing nothing but Undertale for the past three weeks. Yep. Ten. Ten. Anyway, um, we're going to review a lot of juice today because we got a lot of new stuff. Um, where the hell is my there? there? I'm going to be reviewing another Cosmic Fog. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Cosmic Fog Sunrise. It's one of their newest juices, actually. That. We're also reviewing Gummy Glue by Lost Art Liquids. Another Lost Art, one of, another one of my favorite companies. Jesus, Liam, I can see your underpants whenever you do that. Shut up. I told you I need a belt. And um, something that I've never heard of up until now is called Grand Avenue Premium Liquid Pineapple Pow. Now, my, my label's really destroyed. So, um, hopefully you guys can read this. <laughs> really, really Holy been vape. What happened to that thing? <laughs> it's called riding in my pocket. <laughs> Completely and I really destroyed that bitch. So. And similar to Liam, I'm also reviewing the same Vaporfy Grand Reserve Premium E Liquid. Oh, it's Grand Reserve. Jesus yeah. Christ, Liam. I can't even read the bottle anymore. So. Yeah, it's Grand Reserve. <laughs> it's cloud candy. Um,. I got in three mil, as did everyone else that we went with. And then I'm also going to be reviewing another Moon Mountain, which is Electron. There, there we go. Which is similar to the Solar Flare that I recently reviewed the other week. Yeah, he, he was a maniac and got 12 strength Solar Flare. <laughs> and I got this guy salted nuts for his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmic Fog's Nuts and 12 Strength. Fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to refer to the guy that sold me to that juice as Gur, because the other guy's just awesome. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with um, drying my wicks. Yeah, we're not going to set up the fire alarms again. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, I'm gonna start with sunrise, hopefully, because like I baked the, these things all the way down to the bare minimum, so I saved just enough to review them. You need to use lower watts if you want to conserve. Yeah, well, way. I like to blow up humongous clouds too, so okay, there's that. Just enough to get them wet. Do not make a sex joke out of that time. You know me all too well. I was actually going to. <laughs> It's like, that was my perfect opportunity to get you back. <laughs> I know. No, I'll just inhale that dong. Shut up. Okay, so there we go. I drips, um, come, I have a bit claw. I really cannot speak today. Cosmic Fog Sunrise on my uh, coils, and I'm going to take a first-hand review. I haven't made this stuff in like a long time, so. It's a really good, robust flavor. It's, um, uh, they released two new juices, Sunrise and I think Sunset, right? Yeah, it's Sunset, yeah. yeah. Um, Sunrise is a strawberry, almost kind of like a strawberry shortcake, but it's a little bit more tart than a strawberry shortcake. It's kind of like a really tart strawberry, kind of like a sweet tart almost. Yeah, I could definitely taste a strawberry in that one. Yeah, it's a very heavy sunrise, uh, strawberry. Oh, wait, are we still rolling? Are we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, th I saw the I saw the record thing flicker, and I'm like, "What?" Liam, are are your eyes all right? Yes, they're fine. I saw I saw the screen glitch, and you know this PC is a piece of crap, so it's, it would not surprise me if it's not recording. Why are we not using my PC at this point? Next video, because it yeah. wasn't up here, and I didn't want to make you run all the way back down to floor six to grab it. It's just three, four difference. 
Sure, the thing weighs like 10 pounds, but it's still a computer that works better than this piece of shit. I know. Alright, so what are you reviewing? Okay. So first off, I'm actually going to be reviewing Cloud Candy. Um, unlike Liam, who has actually diminished his pineapple pal within like three days. Yeah, I went through a 30 mil in three days. I'm sorry. 30 mil in three days. I haven't That's not as bad as Cody. True. Cody, need, Cody, you need freaking juice, like, ASAP. Cody, you need you need to put a video up on here. It's what you need to do. Yeah. Guys, for, like, a third time in a row, get a fucking video up on here. I mean, Tyler can't run the freaking channel solo. Okay, so. Well, we can. Yeah. It would just take a lot of our time, and we're out in callback. And a lot of money that we don't have. So. What, too? Cloud candy. It's like a berry blend. Um, really? Whenever I think of this kind of juice, I think of some sort of flavor I've never actually had ever in my life before. It's one of those original ones. You just can't put your finger on it, what it actually is, but I know it's a berry blend. That's all I know about it. On a scale of 1 to 10 rating, I'd give it a 3. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a nice yeah. joke poll. Yeah, that's a ongoing joke for the past few weeks now Every, with my roommate. <laughs> everything's a three. Everything's a three. What was, how did you rate that movie? Three. How was your day today? Three. Yes, so, everything. That's the joke. That's the joke. So I'd actually rate it more along a seven. It, I mean, I haven't been bathing this thing all that much. I've been leaving it up in this idiot's room for yeah, the past it's been few here. Now. It's been here on my shelf, and I'm just like, oh, full 30 mil. I'm just kidding, I'm just yeah. like yeah, this thing is full. So, there's that. You want to take a puff of that? Yeah, sure, what the hell. Oh, Tyler, you might as well explain your new tech as well. Oh, yeah. I've been using a turbo on this thing. Yeah, definitely a berry blend, for sure. V turbo V1. Yeah, the Turbo V1. <laughs> it came it's got with a glass cover on it. Yep. Mouthpiece. Tough cap, yep. And unlike the last time when we were using, were we actually using the uh, the stove tops? Yeah, the stove I tops. Was, I think I was using the stove tops yeah. last time. I'm not sure, but we don't really. Those kind of fucked up my turbo. <laughs> I was using it the one night. Also, I got a huge hit of nothing but burn. I I couldn't tell what the fuck it was. I'm like, are my books dry already? Then I realized that the fan and the turbo actually dipped down and started burn onto the... Yeah, it started, like, literally the melting. It broke. It literally melted the, the turbo. The yeah, turbine the in. fan actually got melted. Yeah, straight it's... Straight up. I mean, it still worked, but it's it just... You can't. No. I, 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 it, we, I would recommend not using it until now that you melted it. Yeah, don't use the turbo if you don't want to get, like, burn hits of plastic going straight into your lungs. Yeah. Not a fun day. Uh, if you guys have noticed, I do have my smocks um, light green for St. Patty's Day. So, I don't know if you guys really took a notice of that. <laughs> Alright, so that was Sunrise. I do rate Sunrise about um, probably a, a 6.5 out of 7, yeah. Because it, it's not that the greatest uh, out of uh, Cosmic Fogs, but... Uh, it's definitely a worthwhile grab if you're into strawberry. I more like the smell of it than I do actually the taste. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna do um, gummy glue. Now this is a phenomenal juice. I love this stuff so much. If I could get the cap off. Lost art. Yep. I absolutely love. I have not met a lost art. I have not liked yet. Yeah, he already blew through a whole bottle of it already. <laughs> yep. My lost art. This thing's empty. Straight up empty. <laughs> Okay, I do have a lot more gummy glue yeah, than I do with some right here. Okay, there's gummy glue on there. Hey Liam, clean the inside of that thing out. Dude, I just cleaned it last week. <laughs> Liam just cleaned it last week. Uh oh, that's not good. What's well, not good? My battery just went. <laughs> Wait, on your smock? Yeah. Really? Oh, well, I got both the juices in, so... Oh, whoop, shit, inactivity, fuck! Um, so, gummy glue's, um, a mixture of... Let me take another hit, if I can. Gummy glue is, um... 
is a it's kind of like a really like if you get like kind of like gummy bears but it's not really gummy bears it has more of like a I don't know a more fruity gummy f- taste like it's super super gummy and sour too it actually has an essence of sour in it I'm actually gonna rate uh, gummy glue at an 8.5 actually because it's really good it's not stellar because I really like Pop Rocks but I'm really gonna rate that an 8.5 out of it and maybe it, possibly a 9 hey Liam do you ever read the fine print what? It says shake well. I do shake them. You do? Yeah. I never saw you shake it. Yeah, usually when I get back to the room, I shake it. Huh. Do they all say shake well? Like, you just should. It's just something you should do. I mean, I sometimes do, sometimes I don't, but... I guess my shaking is whenever I'm running up the stairs to get to this place. Oh, I mean, just carrying around and get shaken, so I mean... For shaken, not stirred. Yes. Yes, thanks. Thanks, Bond. We all appreciated that memo. Yeah, Manny's out there watching James Bond right now. Yep. Alright, so what's your next juice? Hold on. Look at this pro skills, boy. As soon as this thing's actually diminished of all of its cloud candy, I'll actually be able to get the new juice on there. Yep, so this is this is basically routine. Um, sorry we haven't been posting more for you guys. Um, the last videos have been getting like zero to none Dance. hits. Like the first video, few hits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, just right now. Is cool it right now? It's not cool, gummy. What gummy hell? Oh. Gummy glue. It's really good. I love it. I'm probably going to get another bottle of that. Yeah, it actually reminds me of gummy bears a lot. It's like a sour gummy bear flavor. It is exactly like a sour gummy bear flavor. I think that was the first time I got to try it because you were out the last time. (laughs) Huh. Sour gummy bears. I did end up getting another, my second, the juice, the first juice I ever got a second bottle of was cola gummy, and that was a stellar juice. I absolutely love that juice. I think I would actually rate that as a 7.5 on my scale. Really? Lost Art, yeah. Instead of an 8.5? Mm, maybe an 8. Oh. I'll put it on an 8 on my scale. Okay. Just because I didn't get a big hit off of your RDA since it's actually You're dying. Your mom's dying. Yeah. <laughs> but you still got one more juice to review. I know, I got it. I mean... Dude, I just blew through that whole 30 mil in one day. I don't think I even need to puff it to, to review it. <laughs> Still, we got people out there that actually want to see you use it. I know. Is this thing dry yet? Yeah, it's primarily dry. Okay. Pretty blooded my lungs, probably. Okay, that means I could drip some of, some of my Electron on there. This stuff, I really like. Electron, yeah. He really does like Electron. I he, love Electron. You're a freaking uh, stellar Moon Mountain guy, aren't you? Yep, Moon Mountain is my, that's, that's my shit right there. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if all you vapors out there have been going on to the news very much or getting posts on your Facebook feeds or Twitter feeds about um, popcorn lung. Really? We're going to get into this? Sure, why not? It's something vape related. We should probably discuss it. All right. Well, what the heck? But for, before we get into this, nothing has been absolutely positively confirmed about this. Tyler just showed me this article about it. Um, um, probably nothing to get too freaked out about. But Tyler just found this, and he thought it was an interesting thing to include. So do just tell. A, him. Just a little tiny thing. So there's a chemical within the vape juice called diactyl. I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing it right. You say it. Yeah, it's, it's probably in here somewhere. It's probably not on the label. It's something you actually have to research. It's a flavoring that they put into most juices that are mostly along the line of dessert flavors. Like what? Like, um... Um, I would say stuff like a pumpkin pie flavor, they'd most likely have this chemical in there. Um, what they found out was diactyls um, trace back to, like, the 1960s or somewhere within that time frame where they had workers working in factories for popcorn. Ah, 
And these, add, these people would be breathing in this chemical that was in the air called diactyl, which was a byproduct of the popcorn flavoring, which is a buttery flavoring that they put into most juices. And from that, over the years, they developed a incurable cancer in the lung called Well, it's popcorn. not really a cancer. Well, it's, it's a disease of the lung. Right. It's not, it's not lethal, is it? Um, I think I last heard was someone actually had to get their lung removed and replaced oh, okay. to cure it. Because they, they couldn't actually cure it. Think of Deadpool from the new Deadpool movie when he was in that glass case and he got his skin sucked in. That's what your lungs would basically look like. Yeah. Like, it... it uh, what the heck is it called? There's something in the lungs and it starts making air pockets inside the lungs and it, like, they pop, I think, and it creates holes in your lungs. Well, not, like, straight holes, but, like, little indentations in your lungs and it just makes you, like, cough and it just... It's awful. It's just straight up shit. So, yeah. Damn, it, it's, it's straight dead now. That's fantastic. Ta-da! Well, looks like we're going to be using my... Uh, my food shy for the rest of this video. Yep, looks as though, because I had to beat my ass off. That's right, our one little hint of advice to all of you vapors out there. It's not thwarting us at all, really. Sort of hit me a little bit. But anyway, back to the review. Electron in here. I Do love it. it. Do it. Ah. Lemon blueberry. Yep. Just like the Solar Flare, it's a lemon flavor, but this one has a hint of blueberry in it. It's the pomegranate. So, the blueberry is one flavor that I've always been looking for. One that actually act would actually taste like a blueberry when you exhale. Yeah, it does, it does have a very strong hint of blueberry in it. I actually put this one a 9 on my scale. Yeah, I actually went through a good 75% of the bottle already. Yeah. So, I would recommend it for any of you that like blueberry and like a lemon mix. So there you have it, Electron, and now all you have to do is dry wait for me to dry this out so you can put on pineapple pal. Jeez. Yeah, I told you, destroyed it somehow. Should we go into the explanation of where we found this juice? Sure. Well, you can tell the story, I'm going to try it dry this thing out. Okay, so we were walking, we, I was looking for art supplies for a project I had to get, um, for this teacher I don't really care for called, um, Greg's, and he just sucks. Everybody, just dig a six foot hole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he basically just, he sucks. Everybody hates him here. Well, I mean, a majority of the people. Most do. people. Most I people don't. hate him, yeah. Um, so I had to get construction paper, but that's besides the point. Um, so we were going around CVS, Tyler said I could get construction paper at CVS, and the good thing we did find it, but the first CVS we went to didn't have it, so Tyler was like, <laughs> fresh oh, out, fresh out, just thinking, I um, had my entire grocery list in my hands, and when we got to the paper section, no paper whatsoever, William's like, oh no, you don't have to, I'm putting everything back on the shelf, and we're walking out of there empty handed. I said, he, I was like, dude, you realize you don't have to put everything back to just walk to another CVS just to get okay. Construction paper, okay. Um, so we were walking after we went got to the first C the second CBS, which is like what, a couple minutes from there? Uh yeah, it's like a five minute walk. Not even that. Everything in Pittsburgh is so close together, you could literally walk from one side so, to the other. Yep. So um, we were walking to this other CBS and we came across this uh, well not really came across, but we looked up and there was flash neon lights and I was like, Ooh, that's interesting, I wonder what's up there. So I looked up. And there's a brand spanking new vape lounge being started by this these two guys. Uh, Mike is the nut, one of them, mm -hmm. and it's called Flip. They sell um, electronic wares there, and they also are starting a small vape store as well. It, they it, they're just starting out, so it's very small right now. But I definitely recommend it. It's very good. It's a very good store. The guys are so chill. Uh huh. All right. So here goes Pineapple Pal. So jelly. <laughs> sure, mod. You can use it too, you know. I know. Pow, <laughs> pow. Okay, so if you literally, it's literally like taking um, uh, pine 
pineapple juice and dripping it on your coil. It's literally that close to pineapple juice. Uh, a little less of the citrus though, like pineapple juice in general, in my opinion, is like straight, like more citrusy than this. So if you like pineapple juice but just don't like the citrus tang of it, get pineapple out because that's like straight on. I rate it at uh, probably, I liked it so much that I'm probably going to rate it at 8.5. Just right up, right alongside gummy glue for me. It's really good. I mean, I like gummy glue a lot more because I'm, I'm more of a, a candy and, and soda. Well, not really a soda vape because I've only run across one of those. So yeah, fine. there's cola. You have cola gummy. It's the only other one I like. But like this kind of uh, candy and sweets um, guy for, for, um, for vape juice. Um, but <clears throat> for, as far as fruit goes... The hell did I put that in there? It's, it's under my Pow, pow. Excellent, 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 excellent. If you uh, get Grand Reserve, definitely go for Pow, Pow. Uh, I also tried something else that uh, I don't know if I'm going to purchase because I didn't really like it enough to vape a whole 30 mil of it. But uh, In activity? Yep. Uh, it was called Catch a Latte, and it was like a... a uh, coffee flavor, and I thought uh, coffee. That doesn't sound very good, but I tried it, and it was it was it was interesting. I, I definitely enjoyed it, but I wouldn't vape a whole thirty mil. There's no way I could do it. The entire time I was at the vape lounge with Liam, I was so close to getting the pineapple pal, so close. And then he said, "I really want the pineapple pal." I'm like, "God damn you, Liam! <laughs> that means we can't both be vaping the same exact juice for a review." So I decided to go with the Cloud Candy, which was my second favorite at the place. Pineapple Pow was actually my first favorite. When I first saw it on the menu, I'm like, oh, Pineapple Pow, pineapple flavors. Was... For some reason, Tyler's been eating a lot of pineapples, and we're not sure why. But uh, I honestly don't know why. Yeah, he's been. Like I think it's been this juice that ever since I saw him. Like I want pineapple, and since he's got the bottle empty. I can no longer even drip that onto mine, except for this time, yep. for the review. So, I'd honestly rate the Pineapple Pal as like a 9 for me. I really want the juice, so yeah. when we go back there, Mike's going to be happy to see me buy another juice from him. Yeah. They got a couple customers coming in while we were lounging in there. Yeah. I mean, I mean they're small business, but heck, anybody who's in the Pittsburgh area, go to Flip. If you it's, find Wood Street, you can find this lounge. Just look up at the second story window. It's next to, what is it? Um, it's, uh, Schneik. It's that candy store, isn't it? Um, can, yeah, it's like right above a candy store slash, um, there's also a little, um, hairdresser underneath it. Yeah, it's, uh... Just look for the green, blue, and purple neon lights flashing up in the sky. If you're near a CVS, just, just keep an eye out for flashing lights and a big sign that says flip. It'll say vape stuff on it. And yeah, the F is actually backwards, so... Right. Wait, well, no, obviously, that, that's... It's, it's like that. Yeah, well, that's a that's a design choice. Yes. The F is flipped. And when you're up there, you can actually see straight down Wood Street all the way up to the McDonald's. Slash where the T egg ends up coming out of. Yep. You can see, you can see it from anywhere on the street. It's a definitely. I definitely go there if I if, mm -hmm. definitely recommend that place. Just find a door. That's the only problem. <laughs> yep. I think if you keep. I think you have to walk up. What street is that? Ah oh, crap. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> yeah. If you're on the same street as the uh, CBS. CBS and you see Flip, it should be right along that same. So if you're street. walking around. Flip cross, go to cross the other side to the left, and then you're on the right side. You have to be on the right side of the street, and it'll you'll just keep a look on the windows, and it'll say, "Enter here," and then that's where you go. The, the door should be right there on the side. What was cool. that other brand that they had up there? Like something brew. Shank. <sighs> Motley Brew. Yeah, Motley Brew. Yeah, like a parody of Motley <laughs> Brew. But uh, I guess we should cut it off here since we're running on 25 minutes here. Yep. Maybe, maybe if I'm lucky. Yeah, look at the Irish. Look at the Irish. All right. We'll see you later, guys. And so. be tuned in for more vape reviews coming up in the couple of days. Cody, upload a video. Yeah. Please. Seriously. And we'll catch you later, peoples.